As Erica Kane on All My Children, our first guest has had many adventures and many husbands, and she's not slowing down anytime soon. Take a look. Erica, you know there's nothing going on between Crystal and me. So I can only assume that Caleb did something to upset you. I don't want to talk about Caleb or Crystal. I want to get married <laughs> tonight. Here she goes again. She's just written her memoir, All My Life, and it's fantastic. Please welcome back to our show, the incredible Susan Lucci. suit you well. I remember the last time that you were here, you wore vibrant pink. Oh, Stunning. Oh, thank you. Stunning. Oh, thank my. you so much. I'm losing my earring. Love these. Oh, you know, you know oh. what I'm doing. I'm dancing with the stars. Oh. And, Absolutely. And to rest your feet. And you have to between. rest your feet. Absolutely. And my feet are very swollen right now, and I oh. want to talk to you about your experiences on the show, but first, I need you to clear up a rumor, because, you know, I read the tabloids. <laughs> And, no. and, and I'm all over the blogs. <laughs> and so last week, it was a slow roar. This week, it's really loud. People are saying that All My Children is going to be canceled. Oh. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, it's, it's really interesting because this blogger uh, has put a rumor out there, and it got picked up. And of course, the more something gets picked up, then people really, it becomes the roar. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, rumor is not coming from ABC. <laughs> It's not being canceled. I mean, not that I know of. I've just been given my schedule into next year and oh. a really hot storyline. <laughs> well, there is no All My Children without Erica Kane, so great. Thank you. So, Erica has been married 10 times. Yes, she went into double digits. <laughs> can, you, can you name in order all of your last names, Erica? I and think I can. Um, because there's more and more now. Uh, Erica Kane, Martin Brent, Cudahy Chandler, Roy Roy, Montgomery Montgomery, Marrick Marrick. I think that's it. I think that's 11 times. <laughs> because the Jack was, I don't know. But you know The what? Roys were not legal. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Always a catch. So now you're a New York girl, Garden City, Long Island. Yes. That's where you're from. Yes. And, and so now, you know, when you and I talked about this before, but I always like to check in. Yes. How, how are you finding the commuting back and forth to L.A.? And do you stay out there more? Is Helmet, your lovely husband, out there with you? Helmet goes back and forth with me. Uh -huh. Thank heavens, he's such a trooper. Uh, we go back and forth. I'm, I worked, well, when ABC announced that they were moving all my children from New York to L.A., uh, we all went kicking and screaming. We didn't want to go. Uh -huh. And ironically, my daughter had just moved back from L.A. to New York. Liza. My daughter, Liza. She just had her third child. Yes, yeah, she just had a baby girl just a few days ago. Congratulations. Thank you, and she's so beautiful, both Liza and the baby. In any case, uh, ABC was able you know, to get creative with my scheduling, thank heaven. So I worked two weeks on and one week off. But it's not on the air. I'm always, you know, I do a lot of shows to cover my absence, yeah. but I get to come home to New York, because as you said, I am a New York girl. Absolutely. Yes. And, and I we love, love you here. To come home so, to New York. What made you decide, because I, I read the tabloids and I read a lot. And <laughs> there's <it's>, more? <laughs> well, there's never anything about you. You're oh. very, very private mm -hmm. about your personal life. But here you are, writing a book, a memoir, all my life. What made you decide to do it? Well, over, over time, I got a lot of letters uh, requesting that I write m my memoirs from publishers, and uh, I never thought I was going to do that, because yeah. I, I have been very private. And then last year, my son came to me out of the blue, and he said, you know, Mom, I think you should write a book. And I said, you do, really? You know, right now, with the appetite, everybody seems to want celebrities to talk about drug rehab or, yes. or you know, abuse Did of some kind. Did you do kind. drugs? No, what I'm saying is oh. that I am so... <laughs> Just but Erica, it. but Erica has. Yes, yes, <laughs> she's done it all. But, you know, I've been lucky yes. not to be involved in that. But Andre said an interesting thing. He said most of the girls that he goes out with, once they know I'm his mom, they want to know 
how did I do it? Yes. And how do I do it? And what's my story? And then my husband saved all the letters from the publishers. I didn't realize that. Wow. We reread them, and they were all saying, everybody knows Erica Kane, but nobody knows Susan Lucci. So I love the way the book starts, and I would love for you to read it. Listen to the way the book starts. Oh. It's so great. Yeah, it's not chronological. It's much more interesting than that. <laughs> so it starts with, the streak is over. Yay! <laughs> and of course, that was Shamar Moore, the night that it was announced, that, or he's the one who announced that your streak is over and you got the Emmy, the daytime Emmy. So he congratulations did. So to you charming. again for that. He was a doll. And we also just needed a chance to show a shirtless picture of Shamar Moore, who's got <laughs> great abs. Where, where? It, we just showed oh. it. <laughs> Look, it. there it is. It's good, right? Well, Look at Shamar. Speaking of pictures, I mean, this is a gorgeous picture on the front, Thank and you're a gorgeous you. woman, but we, your ravenous fans, don't get a chance to see you a lot dressed down. You really rock these jeans. Thank you. I can't, I can't believe how youthful you Thank look. Thank you. That yeah. was my husband's uh, idea. He really wanted me to be in jeans. He, that's his favorite thing that yeah, I Yeah, and, and the brick wall, it's like you're stripping yourself bare, you're paring down like the rest of us, and you're talking about your life. It's a good one. So Thank now, you. let's talk about Dancing with the Stars. Yes. Because um, you are doing so well. I must tell you. I saw your quick step. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, the first week I got 14 points, now I got 17, and guess what we have in common? You know, my partner was your partner, I Tony Dovalani. I know, I'm so jealous. Yeah, listen, he, there you are. Oh, that was the hustle. Now, um, are, you, <laughs> are you a dancer? Well, I love to dance. Yes. I love like a normal person. You put on music, you just can't help it. I love to yes. dance. But didn't you find, don't, Ballroom dancing is a whole other animal. It's a whole other thing. Bopping around in the kitchen or at the nightclub, that's one thing. But ballroom dancing is totally different. Yes. It's, All right. It's, yes. It's an art form, and it's a discipline, and it's amazing. It is. I want to talk to you more about that. Look, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we have more with Susan Lucci and a special surprise. Don't go away. <laughs> Audience. We're back with Susan Lucci. And, Great audience. You know, she's got, she's got this memoir. It's uh, terrific. It's called All My Life. And in it, you talk about your experiences on Dancing with the Stars. I do. And during the commercial, Susan was telling me she, you broke your ankle or so some bones in I your ankle. I broke uh, two bones in my ankle and tore a ligament on um, week five at an early morning rehearsal. I was going through Tony's legs, which ordinarily would be a fun thing to do. <laughs> but. But it was early, and um, I caught my leg. And but I didn't think it was broken. I didn't hear anything, and it hurt. But I thought, oh, but it oh can't God. be broken. So I kept dancing. But that week we were doing the jive, and the jive was when you jump and the flicks and the kicks. And um, during the dress rehearsal, I went ahead and got dressed. On dress rehearsal, I thought, oh, I hope I can jump on my left right. ankle. It was my left foot, and I, I, I couldn't. But I, I didn't want Tony to know. I know. I didn't want to let him down. That's I didn't want Tony to know. This is the bane of my confliction all the time. Like, I don't want to let Tony down. Right, because he's, he's so, so kind good. and good and patient. And talented. My God, that man can swivel his hips and just hit the back wall. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And he's so talented. You don't want to let him down. You don't. He's a good man. All right, so... Um, um, now, you survived seven weeks, right? Seven weeks, eight dances. I think these producers are so smart. They, they always tweak the season from season to season a little bit. And the season that I was on, um, we had to do two dances the first week, one dance Monday night and one dance Tuesday night. So oh it, was, it was very grueling. But the, um, the first night was the cha-cha, and I was so nervous. I was so nervous, and I, I had been on Broadway and I could get a hold of my nerves on Broadway, but somehow Dancing with the Stars, when that announcer, you know, I was a fan before I was on. And when that English announcer said, you know, now dancing the cha Oh my gosh! It was me, oh my God. Did, so I did could you ever not, cry? I did cry, I did cry. Um, later on in rehearsal one night, because um, like you, I was commuting back and forth and working in New York at the same yes. time. And um, I had that bro those broken bones and we were doing, um, sweeps at all my children so our days got very very long and like you you dance after work but I kept losing time because we'd, we would work till nine o'clock at night so towards that 
that point, yes, I got so frustrated because I was losing time, yes. and believe me, I needed the time yeah. <laughs> to really so learn I. the dances. So do I. Oh, by the way, you know, I mentioned the baby earlier. I forgot. This is so out of order. Uh, this is for the Liza's new oh, baby. Oh, thank you. Oh, how you doing, Deb? Oh, I love this. Oh, thank You're you. You're part of my Dancing with the Stars brain. It's a bit scattered. I know I, that I you know. I understand. It's the whole focus. Uh, what this I, baby is so beautiful. One thing She's that's so it. special about being on Dancing with the Stars is that we know something and share something that nobody else shares except for the present, or my, you know, my present people and the past alum. It's a really special club. It is. So we have a surprise for you. Um, so come on out, surprise. <laughs> The darling Tony Dovolani. Nobody wants to disappoint you. I felt like The Bachelor. I was yeah. Just, you know. And we both took it. Yes. Yeah. Here's the thing, Tony. Um, you always tell me that I'll have these moves for the rest of my life. Yes. I still do remember the cha-cha, but that was just last week. And of course, I remember our quick step because you know we just did that as well, or the week before. You um, did great in the quick step. I really loved it. Thank you. Do you remember any of your moves? Tony never told me that I'd remember these dances for the rest of my life. Are you at least still doing good posture? And are you very I'm trying on your good feet? posture. I love to dance, but I don't remember all of the choreography. No, but I know so. I loved doing it. Well, we had a really special connection, so we probably could bring something up, no? Let's see. I really <laughs> Do you want to dance? <laughs> Let's see you guys dance. Oh, we'll hit the music. Of. Remember when I dropped you over oh, to the yes. floor? Oh, yes. So we'll okay, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Take note. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to you're not dropping me. I love it. <laughs> my feet. Right. Ow. No. So Susan's book is called All My Life. It's in stores now. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by. Thank you again. so much. And I talk all about our experience on Dancing with the Stars. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs>